Hello, CV Soccer. Uh, th this is Coach Hartlob. Uh, for those that aren't aware of who I am yet, um, this is going to be a quick virtual parents meeting slash players meeting. Uh, we typically have this uh, the Sunday before preseason, uh, but obviously with COVID and things being changed, our preseason started on a Friday. Uh, it's actually a day off from school. Uh, there's all kinds of things kind of going on. So I just want to kind of introduce myself, talk about the program for a little bit, and then give parents an opportunity to send some questions over this week. As I said, preseason won't start until Friday. Um, it's currently Sunday that I'm recording this on uh, uh, August 30th. Um, tomorrow is Monday. We're going to have a session from 3 to 5 as well as on Wednesday from 3 to 5. And during those sessions, I'm hoping to kind of get out uh, of the way some fitness testing. Um, players, really what you need for this week is to make sure that your physical's in and that you make every effort to attend uh, Monday and Wednesday sessions as well as if you are committed to playing, you'll have to follow the schedule that we are, we've posted on our website uh, starting Friday, uh, October 4th. Uh, I think we're going from 8.30 in the morning till 11. We'll do that Friday morning, Saturday morning, and Monday morning. Parents, I will apologize for ruining your Labor Day weekend. Um, I think there's been a lot of things that have been ruined over the past couple months and a lot of changes, and we've, we've been dealing with a lot. Uh, but for soccer to start, just so you're aware, uh, we have to have 15 training sessions prior to our first game. So our first game, just to kind of bring that up, is going to be a senior night game. We we're going to play Cedar Crest in the stadium. Um, so we're, we're trying to make sure we get as much of this season in as possible in case something were to happen. So uh, I kind of wrote, thought about this for a second. Um, expectations have not changed about our program. Uh, so players that have been around for a while, you kind of know the expectations, but we just have a few changes in procedures. So let me go through a couple things real quick. Uh, we'll take up too much of your time, and then we'll see you all this week, and you can send those uh, email uh, questions. All right. Uh, I'm still head coach Dave Hartlob. Mike Sigfrey is going to be our assistant uh, once again, Todd Sheets is, is again the JV coach. Doug Davidson uh, returning again for, for the 21st season with me as our junior high coach. And Scott Azenbray, I think, is coming through for his second season with us as the junior high JV coach. I don't think there's going to be too many volunteers. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to be permitted to have too many volunteers uh, due to COVID restrictions. But same expectations. Uh, be on time. That's one of our big things. Um, we are going to ask players to try to show up um, on time. Uh, we used to have this thing where we used to ask you to be there 15 minutes ahead of time so you can get your boots on, this, that, and everything else. We're going to ask you, unless they change the protocol of waiting in the parking lot until they dismiss uh, players to practice or games, that if you get in your car, you get there, try to put your boots on as quickly as possible. Uh, guys have been really good about coming up to the, the – the training sessions and being ready to go, but there is some that, you know, take a few more minutes and then they're not exactly ready to go while everybody else is. So if we can kind of try to get on the same page with that, that'd be great. So tomorrow's trainings from three to five. If you can get to the school by five minutes of, and then we'll try to wave you up and then you'd be ready to go. That'd be awesome. Um, always conduct yourself in a professional manner. You represent yourself and your team and, and then your school. So use appropriate language, use uh, good judgment and dress and professionalism uh, on and off the field. Uh, respect yourself and your teammates and be punctual. Um, I used to have one more big rule. There were three of them, being on time and always contact yourself that way. And the third one was the bus ride. Um, as far as I know, we're still traveling together two games. I'm not sure what the stance is by the school about traveling back. Uh, that is one of the Major rules I always had was bringing everybody back, uh, but with COVID and stuff, I, I don't know how I feel about that. So we will be talking with the players once a team has been selected, uh, and that'll happen by Tuesday, the Tuesday after Labor Day. We're only going to have three days of tryouts this year, and that is because junior high starts on that Tuesday. So we are anticipating a very large group this year. Um I will say that we will do everything in our power to 
not try to cut upperclassmen. Uh, we have a large group of freshmen. We want to try to keep players playing in our program as much as possible. But with that said, we're not going to uh, sacrifice quality for quantity. Uh, so we're going to work with all the players we can and try to see who makes the right fit for our program. Uh, we'll try to post that the Monday of Labor Day after the training session so that we can kind of have a clean break by that Tuesday. And uh, we're going to be off and running. Um, the point system that I've used for a long time now is going to be different. Um, that's one of the reasons why we're trying to do the fitness test uh, on Monday and Wednesday of this week, because uh, we want to evaluate kids and give them their best opportunity to show us what they are capable of. Um, we, we do believe that the point system works that way. For you incoming freshmen, really what we're doing is we're trying to rank you against your peers in a battery of different activities. It might be a, a fitness test, like a cardio one, like the pacer, it might be a push-up test, a sit-up test, juggling, like a skill activity. Um, we will try to do uh, Dutch style soccer. Matter of fact, in my head, as of right now, um, Friday and Saturday, we'll be just playing and coaches sitting back and evaluating very little um, coaching going on be kind of similar to uh, the soccer camp we kind of did a, a week or so ago where we just kind of lay it out, let the guys play. And uh, we're going to go and look at kids and try to give them a, a formal evaluation to see where, where they're at. Um, with that said, uh, parents, booster club information. Uh, again, this stuff's going to come quick and fast. Uh, we just had a booster club uh, meeting We've been informed that all Booster Club meetings have to happen off campus. And uh, so thank you, Mrs. Lehman, for hosting that uh, with our board. Uh, we are doing a lot of adaptations. It, it won't look the same. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that currently it stands at Conestoga Valley and the PIAA. There will be no uh, spectators at games. Um, so hopefully... We can kind of work with that and, and understand that uh, maturely. I, I, I know that I have a junior daughter who I'd love to see play uh, a few games here this fall. It's going to be very disappointing not to, um, but I, I have not been told by anyone yet uh, if spectators show up, what happens. The only thing I can then imagine is that if a referee deems that this is uh, inappropriate, that he would forfeit the game or cancel the game. So, you know, I think you need to use uh, common sense, judgment, try to stay away. Now, with that said, behind the scenes, we are working really hard to find a another method to view the games. Um, I'm hoping to secure cameras and, and live stream, not just the varsity games, but hopefully the JV games, um, so that everybody would have a chance to see their son play. Um, I know that's important. Um, I'm looking forward to really just getting the kids to have the experience. And, and that should be the number one goal for everyone is, is get the kids to play. Um, a lot of them have been working really hard, especially our senior group, which is very large. They've been looking forward to this season for a long time. Um, and, and we're going to try to do the best for that. So as well as Booster Club information, we usually have our first large meeting uh, at a red blue picnic for for uh, preseason, we still were going to have a red blue game, but as there's no spectators allowed, we're not going to have the picnic. So um, information is going to be dispelled through emails. Um, we are starting up a car wash. I actually participated in the girls' car wash yesterday. It went fairly well. I think they did all right. Weather was okay. But it was a lot of fun for the girls, and I hope to repeat that. That car wash is, is going to try to happen after the red-blue game. So maybe the, the uh, leaders of the Booster Club will have a short impromptu meeting with the parents there to kind of answer some questions. But look for emails for information to follow on that. As far as uh, banquets and that kind of stuff, we're just going to have to roll with it right now. We have it in place that we will hold those. But the details need to kind of stay on the down low until we, we can firm up some more things as, as the weeks go by. Um, again, it, this is going to be an interesting uh, 
season to say the least, but I'm just so happy that we're going to get, get the opportunity to start. Um, please, uh, stay tuned for paperwork and all that kind of stuff, because some of it's now going to be online. Some of it's not. So there'll be a lot of stuff being communicated to you via the website or email, and we will talk to you guys soon.